Hello, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Bob. Well, Cooking with Tammy. Tammy's going to be cooking today, it's her turn to cook. So, today we're going to be doing Persian style lamb wraps. Now, Persia covers a wide region, but the area that we're specifically doing today will be Iran. Me and my wife love Iranian food. There's a restaurant in London that we often visit that does Iranian food. We absolutely love it. So we thought lamb wraps. We've got some lamb we brought that was on offer and we're going to make some lovely wraps out of them. So without further ado, first things first, let's get the lamb into the bowl and marinate it. So as she's putting in the ingredients, I'll explain what's going in there so you're aware. So first things first, she's going to put a dash of cayenne pepper in here. It's quite spicy, so you don't need too much of that. A bit more than that. Yep, yeah, perfect. Um, so it's a dash of cayenne pepper for a bit of heat. We're now going with sumac. Uh, sumac is um, a, it's quite a lemony flavour. It's quite a tangy kind of tart citrusy flavour. It goes quite well. Um, we're now going in with some cumin and again I don't care about measurements unless I specifically I'm working with oil or baking um, so we're going to eyeball this we're now going in with some cinnamon we're using sweet cinnamon here um, but you can use any variety but we're choosing to use sweet cinnamon to impart a bit of sweetness I'm going to cut through that with a bit of lemon juice using the old fun method my thumb's not big enough <laughs> That works, that works, it's good enough. Uh, we do a uh, yep, sprinkle of salt. This is my proprietary garlic salt blend, but I say proprietary, I don't actually own it, but I don't know many other people that use it. <laughs> Not around these ends anyway. Um, yeah, crack of pepper and uh, a few shards of glass. <laughs> and we'll go in with a tablespoon of olive oil there. Uh, yeah, a tablespoon will be good. It'll give it a nice succulence. And this is garlic infused olive oil. Awesome. And I believe that's everything for this. Oh, we also have some honey as well. Um, but we're currently having to uh, convince the... We're trying to uh, prise the honey out of this jar because we foolishly kept it in the fridge when we shouldn't have. Um, and yes, <laughs> what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to uh, heat the honey through and then we'll come back to you once the honey's uh, going in. Uh, but it'll be about a teaspoon roughly of honey. Okay, so we managed to uh, get the honey down to a nice, uh, better consistency. We just put it with a bit of water, a teaspoon with water, stuck it in the microwave. Um, it's relatively the same consistency. Okay. So stir that in. Does it smell good? So usually you'd also put pomegranate molasses in here. Uh, we don't have any. I will definitely buy some though because I've had some recently and I really liked it. Oh wow, that's the stuff in it. Okay. Awesome, that's that done. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna marinate that. And whilst it's marinating, we're gonna make some of the homemade flatbreads. Okay, so we're gonna do the flatbreads. Now, we are gonna cheat a little bit. We completely know how to make flatbreads, but you know what? We found something interesting uh, recently in Sainsbury's. So we're gonna use it. And that is some Middle Eastern style flatbread mix. Now, what we need to do with this is simply put it in a bowl and combine it with 125 mils of water and uh, oil. So literally, it's just a packet mix job and you combine it all together. So I'll let the wife do that, but before you do that, I'm going to give it a quick read. So just give me five seconds. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it is pretty much just a chuck it in job. Chuck in the, uh, um, so yeah, add the mix in, whole pack. Uh, I'll have a look what's in here actually in a minute, because it looks like there's some herbs in there. 125 mils of warm water, followed by two tablespoons of olive oil. And this is garlic infused, so we'll just put a bit more flavour in there. So let's have a look at the ingredients. So we've got flour, yeast, and then various different um, preservatives. Um, mm. We'll keep that because I do have some more oil I can put in that. Um, uh, salt, cumin, seeds, parsley, pepper, um, ginger. Ginger, so I don't even call that a bit because my wife's throwing things around the room. <laughs> um, fenugreek, coriander, ginger, thyme, bell peppers, juniper berries, dried red chilies, and an anti-caking agent. So. Hmm, smells good, smell that. Smells quite timey. 
So all we're going to do now is combine this together, knead it for five minutes, and then you'll see the result. Okay, so we have a nice ball of dough here, uh, gathered it all together. Just a word of warning, um, the packet instructions are a little bit incorrect, I think, with how much water you put in. Um, we have to keep adding it in. If you find it's the same situation, if you're using the exact same packet, then just be aware that you need to put in the water gradually, piece by piece. And eventually you'll get a nice bit of dough like that. And then what you want to do is get a wet tea towel, obviously clean, and then sling it over that, leave it for 20 minutes, and that will rise up. And then we can just roll them out and start frying them. Okay, so the bread did increase in size, but my wife decided to uh, give it a bit of a knock back, which is what you're supposed to do anyway, but I wanted to show you with the uh, thingy, but she's an, e she's an eager baker, what can I say? Um, so I've got to mention actually that I was factually incorrect about the bread. So if you want to make it into four pieces, then yes, 125 mils of water is fine to uh, 230 grams of the flour or the bread mix. If you want to use a whole pack, that will make eight of these, and then you use, I believe, 250 mils of water. So that's important. Do you read the pack properly, because I didn't, and uh, I paid the price. Say again, sorry? And four tablespoons of oil. Did you put that additional oil in? Mm, that'd be fine, wouldn't it? We, we don't need that amount of oil anyway. So my wife's gonna cut this now into four bits. Beauty, beauty. And we're gonna pre-cook these um, because to be honest, I prefer pre-cooking flatbreads because when you, what we tend to do with flatbreads is we tend to cook, um, cut, cut them and then stack them up and then cover them with um, cling film. What happens, it kind of almost steams and it makes it softer, um, which is a lot easier to, to kind of scoop things up with. So now we've got nice eight pieces of dough. My wife is now gonna go ahead and start rolling them out into pieces. So, okay, I'll, I'll, let you, I'll let you enjoy watching this bit. So you can see the rough sort of thickness that we're gonna get it. My wife's somewhat of a master of flatbread. She does usually make them herself. Um, but today we decided to, to try this packet mixture out because to be honest, it'll go really well with what we're having tonight. It just seems like a perfect combo. And that's what you're looking for. Nice small little flat bread. That'll make eight of them bad boys. Jobs are good in. All right, so we're gonna finish these flat breads off now and then we'll get them onto the frying section uh, to cook off. And uh, you can see what's happening there. So just to quickly show you, what I've also done is I've chopped up an onion and I've mixed it in with that um, lamb. And now I'm gonna let it rest at room temperature until we start cooking it. The reason why I'm doing that is because if I don't, the lamb will be tough as old boots. Uh, trust me, I've done that before and it's not good. Um, so the onions will impart a bit of flavor onto the lamb um, and it will just create a nice extra texture in our wraps. So that's uh, what's happening with the lamb. Okay, so we're ready to get, the, uh, get it all uh, frying together. Uh, we've used some spray oil in the pan. Uh, we feel there's enough oil in it. It does call for oil, but we've used, decided to use spray oil. Uh, because we feel that it will be a little bit more, a uh, bit manageable to do that. So I get frying these. I've got a few different batches. And yeah, cook them for one to two minutes on each side. And that'll be it. And that'll be the flatbreads done. So I'll come back when they're all done. So as you can see, my wife has been very busy. Uh, she's made some beautiful flatbreads. Really, really nice. Um, and... I've even done the justice of taking a little bit, um, taking one, splitting them in half for my wife, and I'm going to try one to give you a little bit of feedback. Mmm. Really fragrant. I'm getting a lot of different herbs. I think the only thing it really needs is a bit of salt, actually. I think we should have seasoned the dough. Um, can always season it. we can season it after the fact I guess yeah but yeah really nice I definitely recommend that packet mix um, and it's made eight well set it made eight but we've mixed one um, so that will go quite far that will we can wrap these up and have these over the next few days 
So there's a fresh one right out of the, uh, out of the frying pan. The only warning is they do take need a lot of oil. <laughs> we, we were going hell for leather on our spray oil, so yeah, it does take a bit of work, but yeah, well worth it. So that's the flatbreads prepared. Um, we'll fry the lamb shortly, um, and then we'll just start assembling it as well. Okay, so my lovely wife has started frying the lamb, and it smells absolutely amazing. It really does. Um, it's really filling the kitchen with the flavours. Um, so yeah, we're just going to fry it off. Um, the onion's getting soft, uh, so it's absorbing the, uh, the juices from the lamb. So yeah, once they're cooked through, then that'll be done, and we can start assembling the dish. Okay, so now I'm going to make a basic um, dressing for this. So it'll be mayonnaise, a couple of tablespoons of that. Dried dill. Mm, I love the smell of dried dill. Dried mint. Dash of lemon juice. A little bit of honey. Sounds unusual, but it's going to give it a sweetness. And you can see the honey's now melted from earlier. A bit of salt. Crack of pepper. And a bit of milk. I'm using oat milk, so I don't mind the colour too much. Okay, now let's get it combined and give it a taste for seasoning. Perfect. I think it just needs one more thing actually. Surprise, surprise, garlic powder. And let's just give that a go with the garlic. Mmm, garlicky, sweet, salty, herby, creamy, perfect sauce. Okay, so here's my lamb wrap. Um, got the flatbread, got a mixture of salad, uh, which includes a little bit of um, pickled cabbage. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'll try some of this lamb first on its own. And then I'll try some of the sauce and I'll get it all together. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. That lamb is beautifully cooked. Really well seasoned. Tastes great. Really, really good flavourings. So let's try a bit with this uh, garlic yogurt sauce thingy I've made. Mm. That's a good compliment, that is. It goes really well together. So I've already tried the bread on its own. So let's start kind of building this together. Into a basic lamb wrap. And you're supposed to have tahini on this. 
which is crushed um, sesame seeds. I didn't make that, but what I will do to replicate it somewhat is I'll get it, give it a hit of sesame seeds to try and kind of replicate that same uh, flavour and let's do my best to assemble. I'm going to go for a taco version, <laughs> kind of bring it together like this. It's going to be quite, quite the mouthful. So, have a look at that. That's just absolutely perfect. Let's give it a go. Oh wow, hmm. Those sesame seeds really do improve it actually. It really tastes good. Really good. The arms are the one chewy side. To be honest, that can't be helped. We flash fried it. Just give me a second, I'm gonna finish chewing this. There you go, just chewed it. So, the flavors are really good. I'd say, personally, if I was to do it again, I think rather than frying the lamb outright, I think I'd pressure cook it. So I'd give it a fry, tinge it. Same seasoning, same spices, same everything, but I'd pressure cook it so it's tender. Probably even pulling apart. I think that would really add to it. But hey, it tastes really good. The flatbread's a really good combo. Salad's really fresh. What can I say? It's perfect. So I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. Um, it can be refined further. I think next time I make this, I'm gonna pressure cook the lamb so it pulls apart. That'd be the only change I'll make here. Once I do that, 10 out of 10. So that's been me today, cooking with Bob. Huge thanks to Tam for cooking this today. Absolutely wonderful meal. Um, I'm gonna dig in and enjoy this now. So have a great day, take care, and see you in the next episode.